what? Didn't we already answer this question? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ingrid and this is Ingrid Reads A Lot. I thought that for my first video on this channel, it would be very fitting to do the newbie booktube tag. The newbie tag for booktube, booktube newbie tag. All right, let's just jump right in. I am looking at the questions on my phone. So if I'm looking down, that is why. Question number one is why did you start this channel? And I started this channel because I used to have a booktube channel. Maybe for about a year or so, I haven't posted any videos or it's been like a little bit less than a year. I love booktube and that's why I chose to come back. I was away for almost a year and I just had the like the feeling that something was missing. I love the connections I've made here on booktube and I just love talking about books with people that love books also as most of our family and friends don't really read that much. So this is like a space to talk to people about stuff that you're excited about because nobody else in your life is. So yeah, that is the short slash not short version of why I started this channel in particular. Question number two is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? One of the things that I think is unique to me is that I like to read a lot of different genres and I think that that might be to my detriment because everything that you research about booktube says that you should pick a niche and kind of stick to it in terms of like the algorithm but I just can't like I can't just pick one genre and stick to it 100% I like to read a lot of different things I think that's something that is different and unique and also I was not born here in the US I was born in Brazil I am fully Brazilian and that's also something that's different. I know we have some Brazilian booktubers that have kind of been in the space, but I don't think I've ever met another booktuber that is also Brazilian and lives in the US or Canada or outside of Brazil. So if you guys know of anyone, leave their channels on the comments so that I can meet new people. Question number three is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? I kind of mentioned briefly, but basically talking to people about books. That is the biggest reason why I love booktube and talking to to other booktubers like that was one of my favorite parts of being on booktube the genuine friendships that i've made if you're not part of booktube i don't think i would have ever made those friendships and i'm just excited to get back into talking to people about books because i haven't really read that much recently like since i've been away i've read here and there but not anything consistent so i'm excited and i'm excited to meet new people to talk to new people question number four why do you love reading love the escapism that we get with reading and i know that's a question like that's an answer that a lot of people give but i just love new worlds i love being able to be in a different world while you're reading i love how with reading we get someone else's adventures since real life is so mundane i just love that reading can be something different like you can live a different life when you're reading and i know that that's like cliche but it's so true that's part of the reason why i read so much fantasy and why i don't love reading contemporary because i'm already living in it you know so I don't find that I'm super interested in contemporary books. Again, that can change because I can f like read something that I find super interesting. But yeah, question number five is what book or series got you into reading? So I was not a reader when I was younger, but I started what the book that got me into like really reading was Cell by Stephen King. And that book is sort of like a dystopian zombie kind of book. I th like think like World War Z. I remember my English teacher had these like like bookshelves like these in his classroom and he would let us just borrow whatever books we wanted that were not part of like the reading. He just loved books like we all do. And I read the synopsis for that book and I I knew who Stephen King was. I knew he was an author of like horror books and stuff. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll read this one. That was really what kickstarted reading for me, which is odd, but I think kind of cool also. My mom is a big horror movie watcher. So that kind of helped too, because I grew up watching horror movies. I think that a little bit also kickstarted my pension for picking up Stephen King but that was the book and then I read when I was in high school and then I stopped for a while and what got me back into like reading like I do now for booktube and stuff like reading consistently a lot was A Court of Thorns and Roses. I actually saw she was a she's a youtuber but not booktube 
and I think like lifestyle and makeup and stuff and she just made a video about books that she liked. I thought it was so funny that a random YouTuber was the person that introduced me to booktube because she talked about these books and then in my head I'm thinking I wonder if there's people that all they talk about on YouTube is books and then I found booktube. This was like eight, nine years ago. I don't know how long, but it was a long time ago. But anyway, she talked about A Court of Thorns and Roses and I thought, oh, that sounds like something I would like to read. The rest is history because I fell in love. Question number six is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Okay, so I know a lot. I t I've talked to a lot of my favorite booktubers. So I will talk about someone that I've never talked to before and that is Books and Lala. I've never talked to her, but I think she's amazing. I think she is one of the most creative booktubers we have on the platform that I watch. I would ask her like where she gets all this creativity from because I find like, I think I'm not super creative. And then I just think like, where does she come up with this stuff? And I think it's so awesome. But that is one of the questions I would ask. Oh, and then I would also ask her, how does she just, I'm a mood reader, right? And I could never fathom just like, making a list and being like i'm gonna read this i'm gonna read that because i would just never get through it because i like to pick up books that i feel like i want to read in that moment you know anyway i just think it's like wild that she can pick up books based on her tbr and based on different videos that she's making because that is never gonna be me sadly but i think it's pretty awesome question number seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome and for me it's definitely going to be consistency because i found that i have a hard time being consistent posting videos and i think that was another reason why i wanted to start a f new channel and have like a fresh start is because i'm gonna commit to doing this like actually doing this another thing is like being true to what i want to film and i've heard people talk about this but i think i'm the opposite like i when i had the other channel i would not film a certain type of video or I wouldn't talk about a certain book because I felt like everyone else was talking about it and there didn't need to be one more person talking about it. So instead of like filming, because I hear people talking about booktubers always filming like the popular videos or whatever, like I wouldn't do that because I would think that everybody else is already talking about it so I don't need to add to the conversation. But at the same time, I wanted to talk about those books and the channel is mine. So like, why didn't I? I felt like I didn't need to and that people would be like, oh, I'm not gonna watch that because everybody else is already making this kind of video. But I think it was all in my head, honestly. I overthought it so much and now I'm going to commit to like filming what I want to film, regardless if I think someone's gonna watch or not. Question number eight is when did you start reading? What? Didn't we already answer this question? Well, I already answered that because I talked about it in my other question of the book that got you into reading so i answered that it was my english teacher and i think i was a freshman in high school question number nine is where do you read anywhere i do a lot of e-reading and audiobook listening especially if i'm doing stuff around the house so i will mostly read on my couch but i also read in bed at night question number 10 what kind of books do you like to read a variety and that's my problem i think because i don't stick to something but i love reading fantasy i like reading horror I like reading mystery thrillers. I like reading nonfiction. I like reading uh, sci-fi. And I will say those. My least favorite books, the question didn't ask me that, but I will tell you. My least favorite books to read are contemporary books. I, I will read some contemporary romance sometimes if it's like, if the premise is interesting, but I don't love contemporary books in the sense of reading about someone's struggles in life, stuff like that. But again, I contradict myself all the time because I've read books like that and I really enjoyed them. So I don't know, I don't know. I would like to read everything. I guess we'll end it at that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got to know me a little bit better. And if you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments. I will try to post videos twice a week. That is all I want to tell you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.